Okay, hey director, I wanna knock this thing over and I wanna run down the side of it. Oh, what did he just do? Is usually when you do a parkour, a big parkour jump. Hold up, what? Let's watch that again. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Omar Zaki. I've done parkour in commercials, in music videos, in promos, and even on national television. And today I'm gonna be reacting to some Jackie Chan parkour. Let's get into it. See, some of this stuff, I don't even know if you can call it parkour because it's just, it's almost its own thing. Doing palm spin, palm spin. Yep, very common parkour move. I've done stuff like this before and the tricky part is actually getting to the top and transitioning from, back from your horizontal plane, back to vertical. That's actually tough. I, oh my God, I have no idea how many times he had to do something like that. Did he do a split kick and then land? Okay, land back in the beam, that was awesome. Assisted double step wall flip, nice, done. I actually did something like that and I wasn't assisted. Over, a, over a, a bicycle, yeah, that's right. Vaulting over a car, that's a pretty serious drop. That's a pretty serious drop, but he took it. What I love about Jackie and his stunts is that they do these long takes where you can see so clearly what is actually happening. And this is kind of what, I, what I'm missing in like the Hollywood action movies currently is that they're, they're usually so cut up that you almost lose the action, you can't actually tell what's going on, but Jackie can actually do these things for real. They don't need stunt doubles. They don't need fancy camera angles because he's actually doing the stuff. He doesn't use wires, whether it's because they didn't have enough money for it, enough time, or just because Jackie was against it or said that I don't need wires, but that's what makes this stuff really, really incredible. Okay, wow, wow, that's a big jump. God. Vault over onto a moving escalator. That's that's tough. You guys know how hard escalator stairs are. If you mess up, those stairs are gonna cut into your ankles and your knees into absolutely anything. Oh, backflip to backflip, ground sweep. Oh, so great, so great. I need to, I think everybody now, even, even the best action performers now, I mean, obviously they take a page out of their books from Jackie Chan. They take a page out of Jackie Chan's book and put it in their own book, but I think we can all still learn so much from Jackie Chan. Okay, so what I wanna know about this scene is how do you practice this before you just do it? You go, hey director, I wanna knock this thing over and I wanna run down the side of it. I mean, it's Jackie, so you gotta imagine that it's, it's real. Hopefully they got some way, hopefully they have some way to fake that or to practice it, but I wouldn't be surprised. Another thing that makes Jackie really special is like the moves, a lot of the times that he's doing are not super complicated. He just does them so quickly, so expertly and quickly he, he executes them. And, and I bet he's the kind of guy who can just commit to something like 100% off, like right on the bat and then just knock it out of the park where, as opposed to needing tons and tons of rehearsal to nail it. <laughs> huge drops, huge drops. Man, what's so impressive about it is usually when you do a parkour, a big parkour jump, usually you wanna jump out a little bit so that, that way when you land, you can roll out of it and dissipate some of the momentum. Jackie, he takes these massive drops and then just, just absorbs them completely and just does one squat, stands up and he's totally fine. Oh man, I've seen some people try that on the internet, the run over the car bit. It did not go as well as it went for Jackie Chan. That's all I'll say. Oh, that dive. Please let there be a crash pad down there for him. Oh, what did he just do a... Okay, that was incredible. Did he just do a Barani on ground? Oh. Okay. Hold up. What? Let's watch that again. He does like a diving. And what they do is, is they try to over-exaggerate the motion. They, and he, oh my God, he completely scorpions. That, 
I highly doubt that was intentional, but they're like, you know what? It looks great on camera. Let's keep it and move on. Uh, I don't think he was going to make that in the wide. And then they cut to a close-up and he made it. Let's play that back. Yeah, they hopefully had like a, a box rig or a, or some crash pads. It, he's not making that. No, no, absolutely not. And then he makes it in that one. And then just swing in, my gosh, so much fun. Oh, did he drop from that? This guy's crazy. This guy's crazy. See, that's not parkour, that's just cool. That is parkour. <laughs> I think what, what, what must be incredible is for him to be able to create these incredible scenes to these beautiful sets and to be able to just get so creative with what you can create in that space and, and the obstacles that you can bring to it. And, and that's what keeps Jackie's stuff so fresh and new is that every, every movie, every scene, there's new obstacles, it's a new location, and he's able to use these new tools to just make the scene interesting and unique. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this episode of Parkour Athlete Reacts. Again, I'm Omar Zaki. You can follow me on Instagram at omarzaki0, and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for future videos. And if you guys have other parkour scenes or parkour movies that you want me to react to, leave them in the comments. Maybe they'll be next. Again, this is Omar Zaki signing off. I'll see you next time. That, is that a first try outro? I never do first try outros.